Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of MHB Gaming. I'm Hawk. I'm AJ. And today we're going to continue to make her play the Yaw. Well, you're not making it. Well, we're the bird folks I'm joining along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. Alrighty. Well, thank you for joining the party. Let's go on an adventure. Alright, fine. You want some female representation here? I'm gonna go with the homeboy. Alright, let's do this. We read these once before. Yep. Let's see, uh... And first off, let's head to the tavern and do a little bartending. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. One wealth and two charm. One day, a fortune teller sets upon one of the ta one of the tavern's tables. She offers to read anybody's f uh, fortune for a small sum. Yes, please. You spend one wealth. The fortune teller hands you a bag, or takes your hand, and begins showering you with promises of love and wealth. She doesn't really go into any detail, and the whole time you can't help but feel this was all an act. Underwhelmed and slightly poor, you can't help but feel you wasted your money. Well, I think I should get a mind for that. That night, while walking home, the fortune teller runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. There's the love part, she yeah. says with a toothless <laughs> smile. And then she hands you a giant sack of gold. Ah. There's the wealth, she says. Okay, nice. Still think I'm a hack? Yeah, more money or else I still think you're a hack. Finally, things go my way. I know, right? Goodness. Okay, where do I want to go? <sighs> you spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day, the court jester approaches you. Oh, this can only end well. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asks excitedly. Are the, are the balls yours? <laughs> uh, is it juggling girlfriends? Because I already do that. I'm not into girls. I'm a gay dude. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Uh, you have no money. Uh... Yeah, sure, uh, here's a gold. I don't, I don't know how to juggle. <laughs> Says the jester. He walks away, disappointed. I'm sorry, I really wanted to juggle your balls. <laughs> that one, that evening, on the way home, you find a golden coin on the ground. What luck. You gain one wealth. <laughs> Alrighty, so... You know what? I'll do the same. I'll attend the ball. I thought... What? You could go to the same place I was. Every turn. Oh. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Two charm and one finesse. One day, you overhear a jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but you didn't understand the joke at all. Go figure. Hmm, ask for an explanation? Yeah, I'll ask. You approach the jester, asking him exactly what the joke meant. The jester scolds you at length <laughs> about the dangers of explaining jokes. Something about puppies and them dying when you dissect them. <laughs> you don't quite understand, but everyone around you start laugh starts laughing. Presumably, the jester had just made another joke at your expense. You feel humiliated and mocked. Lose one <laughs> I just can't be charming. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> this is way too close to home. You spend a week getting wasted. <laughs> One day, the tavern th Okay, you've been there. You sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your dart-throwing prowess. What could go wrong? You play a decent game of darts and end up coming in third place. You win one wealth. <laughs> Don't things ever get tired of going your way? You know, forget it. I'm going to go out into the forest and just chop some wood. Go anger chop. Yeah. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn one wealth. One day, you stumble upon a... Ooh, I know what this does. I want to touch it. You lay your hand onto the enormous object. 
magical energy and one magic. Hey, Yay! Cheater. How did I cheat? You spend the week performing petty theft. You gain one wealth and two finesse. One night, a man walks up to you. Now we're talking. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely, he asks. Well, you did just exclaim your preference. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. Sure, for two wealth or no thanks. You hand him a small sack of coins. You lose two wealth. On your way home to your house, you start, uh... You start about, uh... On your way to your house, you start about talking... You start about talking... Okay, yeah, that is a really badly worded sentence. You start about talking philosophy, history, magic, everything, really. The two of you have an amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. You gain two mind and two charm. My god, you're a charming bitch. <laughs> the man apologizes for the lack of sex, but thanks you for the chat. Come here, both. <laughs> he refunds you back half of what you spent. <laughs> you gain one more. <laughs> man, I even get lucky with the prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you should see the look on his face. <laughs> the world always loves you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then, what do I got going on here? Alright, I'm kinda charming. Maybe so... go to the slums and see if a woman will sleep with you and do the same. <laughs> I don't like my odds. I got a feeling I'd come out with I'd come out with an STD or something, whereas you come out with a bunch of charm and money. All right, you know what? Let's go and bartend a bit more because I need the charm. Spending, you're spending time serving drinks. Earn one wealth and two charm. One day, an impromptu drinking contest is held. Uh, I've got seven physique. Heck, why not? Let's enter. You put down pint after pint, drinking as if your life depends on it. You end up lacking it. <laughs> when you come to, you find yourself at a home you don't recognize in only your underwear. Your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? <laughs> God! At least I lost nothing. I expected it to so say, and you're you penniless. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now I probably like, need to go to the hospital and get a disease clear cleared up. You spend the week maintaining plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, a beggar comes up to you asking for any spare change. What do you want to do? Eh. You toss him a sack of coins. You lose one wealth. He thanks you and walks away. The next night, you recognize him on a bench. You spot him eating what looks like a fresh roasted chicken. He sees you and smiles a toothless grin. I have a hard time eating that chicken. <laughs> you feel good about yourself. You gain <laughs> one physique. How do you get stronger by watching a man eat? Well. <laughs> you gain one finesse. What else are you gonna... <laughs> you gain one mind. You gain one charm. I swear to God, if you get magic. I quit. He gives you 20 wealth, claiming he was just a rich man in uh, disguise. Oh, I can't breathe. AJ can't breathe. <laughs> you know what? That was a, I've been sickly burned. I need to go to the hospital. Uh, you know what? I've only got charm going for me. i got to push it. Let's head back to that palace and attend another ball. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Two charm and one finesse. One day, you decide to lean up against a wall just to take a break. <coughs> and it falls apart, revealing that the entire castle was nothing but cardboard. It ro <laughs> You know, I was gonna joke that, actually, but I went with the cardboard thing. It rotates as you apply pressure, and you stumble down a set of stairs. You enter a large, dusty room filled with barrels. You found the king's famous wine cellar. Well, it can't be that famous if it's hidden away behind a rotating wall. Hmm... You know, I have enough charm to get away with it. Let's host a secret party. <laughs> All your friends show up and the drinking begins. When you come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize with only your underwear. 
<laughs> Your clothes are nowhere, only one home. What happened? <laughs> There's a reason you don't drink. <laughs> Apparently, I can't do it well. Even, oh even my virtually. God. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. And somehow you're still more charming than me and have far much better stats everywhere. <laughs> or maybe you're as charming. Oh, lordy. <laughs> yeah, okay, alchemy tower. There's some potions. You spend the week brewing potions. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, an artificer stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. Ooh. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. However, as she leaves, she turns to you and says, You, I like you. She offers you a choice of one of her trinkets. Of course she does. The Ring of Clever Thoughts or the Ring of qu uh, Quick Movement, uh, Swift Movements. The ring grants you three mother frickin' mind. The alchemist and your husband are jealous. <laughs> well, I guess I have to go for Broke on the Charm. Let's go do some uh, drinking, raise that charm. You spend the week getting wasted. Two charm and one physique. <laughs> you end up in a house again. <laughs> Their very first... Wait. There's a few spelling errors in this, isn't there? Yes. Their very first day of the week, when you walk through the tavern doors, everyone cheers. Norm! Apparently, during your last drunken outing, you were a party animal while you, blacked out, while you were blacked out. Legend spreads of your party hard spirit. You gain two charm. Finally, something works out for me. Yeah, finally, drinking in excess works in my benefit. You spend the week fighting brutes in the... My God, your stats are insane. Fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one fitness. A poor or shit, but dude. While wandering around the halls between matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how each other are doing without seeming to care too much. After a few minutes, Jean, one of the most popular fighters in the arena, butts into the conversation. Hey Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we've got to leave right away if you don't want to make or if you want to make it to your mother's in time. You say an awkward goodbye and they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? You feel happy for Kelly or extreme jealousy? You feel good that both of you have moved on. This encounter, despite its awkwardness, was refreshing. You gain one charm. Let the storm rise. All right, now what do we want to do? Let's see here. With this much town, I think I will no. go. What? I was going to be the leader. Ha ha! You've taken upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You're so incredibly charming. Everyone readily lets you guide them. You're not the brightest, however, and, <laughs> and they're and are terribly efficient at organizing everyone. Still, being a charismatic having a charismatic leader helps the rebuilding effort a lot. It's not like you can't take your pick of the litter. You should be able to do almost anything well at this point, save for maybe you know conjurer. Doctor, you take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. You're able to fix up most of your patients in no time at all. In fact, some even have spare parts left over afterward. This, be <laughs> this means there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. This helps the sur survivor effort, survival effort considerably, which I did not. <laughs> Setting about tasks, but in the end... It was a strange night, yada yada yada. <laughs> so I win again. <laughs> yeah, it sure looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> the funny thing is I'm not even trying. <laughs> Alright, let's see our epilogues then. The Yogg traumatized you deeply. Despite everything starting out okay, 
So, okay now, something inside of you snapped. Maybe it was witnessing a baby Aww. floating face down in the water. Yeah, that's sad. Maybe it was when you found a man skewered on a fence, still squirming slightly in his eyes, an empty void. Perhaps it was when you saw... Okay, we're not reading that. What? Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. You drink so much you're not entirely sure what's real and what's an illusion. Man, I'm doing great as a leader. Everyone, follow my example, quickly. <laughs> you were bad at the alcohol, even games. One day, you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. Turns out you were the yog the whole time. While the town is being rebuilt, you start a topiary design firm. You charge top dollar for high-end designs of shrubs and hedgeries. Ah, you garden. People from all across the land seek out your expertise in all things garden related. You are even named Times Magazine most important person of the year at one point. I'm talking through my teeth. You live the rest of your days comfortably. Hawk is not happy with this. Oh my god. You sure you, you want to play again? Oh, we're playing again and I'm going to win. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna go full chat on this. I'm gonna go physique and strength and beat my problems away. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that yog single handedly. Right. And, uh, are we gonna do it in this episode or are we gonna do it separate? Yeah, this one. Okay. We got time. I'm gonna use red. Who do you wanna be? Are I'll you gonna stay, still keep being your charm gentleman there? with my man. Alright. He has not failed me yet. The yog! Alright. First off, let's go to the arena and fight! You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one fitness. One day, while wandering the halls, one of the arena's fighters approaches you. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a sparring partner, he says. Are you down for a fight or two? Eh, I'll accept the challenge. Let's do this, <coughs> he screams. Takes a swing at your head. You get punched square in the face. Next thing you know, you're in the arena's infirmary. Apparently, the punch he gave you... What? What? Headache never endemous. Okay. <laughs> Symptoms include having a mild headache forever. <laughs> you lose one mind. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. I can still punch my problems away. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. The king comes up and makes you his new stepson. One day you bump into a dude. Watch where you're going, filthy peasant. He shoves you out of the way with his hand and continues walking. Passive aggressive response or active aggressive response? You know what? Let's try something different this time. You shove him back. He stumbles slightly. That was kind of lame. You lose one charm. Finally, the game takes something from you. <laughs> you don't know how to react. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen in all honesty. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to the gardens and landscape. You spend the week maintaining plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, a toothless old woman approaches you. Oh, it's not the... Oh, God. I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would you be interested in purchasing them? How's this going to screw me over? Of course I would. You spend one wealth on the beans. Later, you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. <laughs> Meh. Well, let's see what you do. Time to fight crime. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. Yeah, looks like a, a little bit. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. <laughs> one night, you hear a woman whisper at you from nearby. Hey, you. She calls out, looking to make a bit of <laughs> coin. Why aren't you voicing the women? I don't know. Mm, why not? She signals for you to go into the alleyway with her. Come closer, she says. You read it. Come closer, she says. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. And you get jumped. You lean in close, eager to learn how you'll be earning this coin. 
She presses herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. She bites my ear off. Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously. Blood pours from the wound, and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. Hey, you're a vampire. You black out. When you come to, you see her standing above you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple of coins. You gain one wealth. She then melts into the shadows. Literally, it hurts. When you feel your neck, you notice that your wound has healed completely. Your body feels ice cold. You gain three charm. How does everything work out for you? You, Somebody's stalking you and eating you and the night works to your benefit. I feel like that's a Twilight joke. I just became a vampire and more charming. <laughs> Turns out you sparkle in the daylight. Oh my god. Aww. You lose three physique. Okay, finally. A little balance. Alright, let's head out to that forest there and uh, chop some wood. I could use the physique. You okay. spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn one wealth. One day, you hear hundreds of footsteps rumbling through the forest in your direction. And unfortunately, only one restroom for all of them. For all of them. It's an orc raiding party. What do you do? Hide or charm them? Yeah, I gotta hide. You jump into a nearby ditch. The orcs all ride past you. Nice hiding. You gain one finesse. Finally, something doesn't screw me over. Then I get some, uh, physique from doing this, too. I don't remember. Maybe you get one physique for drinking. Or finesse. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. Oh, you're back up to normal in physique now. Over the course of the week, you notice your skin becoming paler and your teeth sharper. You eat your opponent. You notice whenever you talk, everybody nearby hangs in your every word. Ah, you have presence. You gain three charm. You also more, feel more frail and gaunt than you used to. Lose three physique. Good thing you earned a few extra. I don't know what happens if you go negative. One day, you notice a woman tilting her head back, brushing her hair. Her neck fully exposed. You can even see a vein or two. Delicious. Before you know it, you're coated in blood with a mangled form in front of you. <laughs> there are dozens of people around you, and they're all filled with delicious nectar. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up the next day in bed sheets soaked with blood that is not your own. You look in the mirror and notice your skin has regained its color and your teeth have dulled. You gain 20 magic for no damn reason. Right. Alright, so let's head back to the gardens here. Do a little more landscaping. A little right. landscaping. You gotta maintain. Alright, one finesse, one physique, one wealth. Walking past the pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, miss, I'm not a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna catch the frog. You realize the talking frogs are worth a fortune and quickly grab for it. It tries to hop away, but you are too quick. Ignoring the frog's protest, you bundle it up in your bag. Later, you sell it to a traveling merchant for a huge fee. Three wealth. Finally, I'm not getting screwed over. Sure, I'm an asshole who's, you know, selling live things that can talk, but still. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you come across a group of people in the woods. Oh, God. From the expressions on their faces, they appear oh, to be lost. Oh, God. Rob them or help them. Uh, with that kind of physique, I wouldn't say rob them. You confront the group and try to help them find their way back to town. With ease, you lead everyone back to town. Then kill them. Gratefully, the group, uh, or extremely grateful, the group gives you a small token of their appreciation. You gain two wealth. Huh, looks like I'm finally all over my vampire curse. Alright, let's head to the slubs and slubs. The slums and fight some crime. See what happens there. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. One mind, one physique, one finesse. One day, a small child approaches you with his hands cupped and outstretched towards you. He doesn't say anything. He just looks up at you, eyes wide, er, with his wide eyes, waiting expectantly. 
Yeah, have a coin, kid. I got some to spare. You toss him a sack of coins. You lose one wealth. He thanks you and walks away. The next night, you recognize him on the street. You spot him eating with what looks like a fresh loaf of bread. He sees you and smiles. You feel good about yourself. Ooh, one physique, one finesse, one mind, one charm, one magic. Finally, things Yay. are working out for me. What happened to the arena? Oh, I have a new arena. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, I did. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day, you decide to lean up. Yeah, we know what happens there. All right, rotates, stairs, dusty room, barrels. So, what do you want to do? Host a secret party or keep quiet? Just knowing that you have a secret to hide is so exciting. I mean, you woke up naked in someone's bed, so. Gain 37 mind. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to. My physique and finesse are doing well, but I need to sure up a couple of my lower stats here. So let's head to the Alchemy Tower and brew some potions. You spend the week experimenting. Two magic and one mind. One day, you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I've figured out an antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. That's what they do normally. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a tough call. <laughs> you know what? I'll praise his accomplishments. That's pretty good. That's amazing, you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings. You gain one charm. Oh, good, I needed that. Alright, I have no significant weakness, unlike you, Little Miss Bites a lot. <laughs> you spend an entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. God, you're a charming bitch. One day, an impromptu drinking contest is held. Oh, yeah, let the vampire get drunk off their ass. That'll end well. You down pint after pint, drinking it as if your life depended on it. You end up blacking out. When you come to, you find yourself in a house you don't recognize. Yeah, we know how this goes. All right, well, you probably woke up after the yog happened, and you're like, what the hell? Right. Did I happen again? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to get drunk and bite them all, honestly. I was honestly expecting that, too. All right, who gets to be what? Let's see, what should I do? I've got some physique and finesse, and my magic isn't half bad. Hmm. Physique and finesse. What would you say to Builder? Okay. Alright, let's do that. I'll be the Builder. You take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. You rebuild homes at breakneck speed, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. You become the town uh, vampire. No. You scavenge... Wow, you're that charming and you decide to be the drunk? You scavenge together as much alcohol as you can and drink excessively. I've already won the last two games. This one's a throwaway. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> That's the only reason you won. I don't need a pity game. <laughs> this is a pity game. I don't need a pity game, Nibbles. You gain two physique and one charm. <laughs> Alright. Let's see our epilogues. Well, we did not do very good rebuilding this place. No. With crime rampant in the ruins of your former village, you decide to take action. Over the next few years, you build an underground fortress filled with magical gadgets to aid you in your quest. Criminals learn to fear your name as you end them one by one. Yeah. Sweet, I'm a hero. The town in shambles. You're too afraid to go anywhere else. One day, somebody offers you strength potions in exchange for your services as a bodyguard. You happily oblige. After a few strength potions, you become insanely dependent on them, craving them constantly. 
But you're the world's strongest vampire. They take a huge toll on your body, and your health deteriorates quickly. On the outside, you look like a hulking beast, but your insides are rotted and limp. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> one day, you have one too many potions. Oh, great, so I OD. Your corpse is found face down in a puddle of vomit and foam. <laughs> Unfortunately, not yours, confusing everyone. <laughs> I feel bad you threw that away just to make me happy. It was great, though. I didn't do it just to make you that happy. That was a good... I mean, I, I epically won two of them. You're the world's most charming drunk vampire. <laughs> oh, goodness. It was fun. It was, it was fun. It's not a complicated yeah. game, but I knew there was fun to be had in there, and boy, was there. Yeah, mostly just kicking your ass with all the good luck. <laughs> oh, my God. Games either love me or hate me. Ugh. I don't know why, but whenever it comes to anything of chance, things always go poorly for me. It's a, it's a, it's a curse of mine. And they go great for me, like when you tried to make me play that RimWorld game, and nothing went ah. wrong. And, and you even chose the hard option. You I went with Randy I Random. I tried to screw myself over, and that game just kept giving me everything. It was so funny. <laughs> it's one of our lost series, if anybody's uh, wondering. Yeah. Alrighty then, so any final thoughts about this game then? I it was fun. Yeah, I thought it'd be a fun little simple diversion, nothing too complicated. But I, I definitely knew it would take us down a few hilarious paths, and boy, did it not disappoint. Have you played this before? I played it through like once or twice, just on my own. Okay. Alrighty, well, thank you for joining us. If you uh, like our content, uh, like our content. If you uh, like our content, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> wow, I am not really okay. focused. Okay, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. We appreciate all that. Check us out on Discord. Check us out on other social media platforms, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.